a name we cover is Al-Qabid. Al-Qabid. And with that comes the name Al-Basit. Al-Qabid is to make something be restricted. Al-Basit is something to be um, expansive. Al-Qabid is when Allah closes things and Al-Basit is when Allah opens things. In a hadith, it is, it is said that Allah is Basitul Yadayni Bir Rahmah. Allah is one who is opening both his arms with mercy for people to do tawbah to him. So it doesn't mean that Allah Azza wa Jal has two hands here, two arms. Please don't try and make a figure of God in your head. It's just a form of expression for us to understand. The way that I might just go like this to you, so I'm opening my arms to you for exception. It's just a form of expression. That's all it is. So anyway, Allah Azza wa Jal is basit in the sense that He opens and qabit that He closes. Allah has said in the Holy Quran, يَبْسُطُ الرِّزْقَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَقْدِرُ Allah can open anyone's provisions and He can make it expansive and He can give you a lot more and more and more. But at the same time, يَقْدِرُ He can restrict you whenever He wants. Or the word qabit, Allah is, is the one that can, can hold Onto something. One of the things that has been mentioned in the Quran about Qabid is Surah Az-Zumar. Surah Az-Zumar. And in there, Qabdatuhu Yawm al Allah Azza wa Jal, He will have the whole of the heavens and the earth within His grasp. Within His grasp. Now, again, it's not that He's got a hand like me, whatever. Within His control. Within His grasp, meaning within His control. And Allah Azza wa Jal has got that and He will restrict that. So on the Day of Judgment, you will not find the openness that we've got right now. You can basically, you've got skies, you've got heavens. Oh no, Allah will make one platform. And He will have all of that and He will open it whenever He wants. He will lock it up when He wants. Okay. Now one of the things is with, with a person's rizq, mainly this has been used, bust and qabd, with person rizq. Provisions. Another thing it's used is with specifically with the person's wealth. Allah can release it. Allah can hold it back. Allah can close it. Allah can open it. Another one is with the qalb. The ulama have said with the qalb. So with the heart, sometimes it opens, sometimes it closes. For example, let me give you an example, and this is very important to understand. Sometimes you will feel that you want to do ibadah, you love to do ibadah. You're really enjoying it. This is bust. This is when Allah has opened it for you. And sometimes you're there trying to enjoy it and you don't enjoy it. This is qabd. This is when Allah has restricted it. And it happens to every single person. Sayyidina Abdullah bin Masood radiallahu anhu, he has said that to every single person this will happen. Every person it happens to. So he said when it opens, he said take full advantage. Full advantage of that. When you're enjoying it, take full advantage. But other, other times Allah will close it. Why? He wants to test you. He wants to see whether you're going to carry on. Because if Allah opened it, if Allah gave you enjoyment, you enjoyment, me enjoyment, and we really every time we're enjoying doing His ibadah, who's going to stop? Tell me who's going to stop? For Allah to test us whether we would like to do that ibadah or not, He has to be qabid. He has to restrict that and close that. Then when I'm not enjoying it, Allah wants to see if I wake up for fajr. Allah wants to see if I will try and try my best to read my salah with khushu. Will I pick up the Quran and do some tilawah because I'm not getting that enjoyment. Before, they, they come to me again and again. They say, Imam, I used to really enjoy listening to the Quran. And I used to find it so sweet and I could listen on, hours on. And now I'm not getting that same feeling inside me. Well, a clear explanation is it's qabd. And after a little while, two weeks later, three weeks later, there's going to be bust. Allah is going to open it again. And then he'll close it and open it and close it and open it. And each time he's testing us to see which one of us does it. Now it's not whether, you know, some people think that now maybe Allah's angry with me. Maybe I'm far away from Allah. Maybe Allah doesn't love me. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that at all. For Allah, for you to know that Allah is loving you, is the fact that you continue to doing it. Whether your heart opens to it or whether you feel a restriction. For the fact is... That you are doing it constantly in all days, whether it's sunny, whether it's rainy, you're always doing it. You're doing your ibadah for Allah. That is a sign that Allah loves you. But if you suddenly say that when I enjoy it, I'm going to do it. And when I don't enjoy it, I'm not going to do it. That's not a sign that Allah loves you. So this is to do with Allah Azza wa Jal being the qabid 
and be in the basit and in many other things Allah Azza wa Jal can expand and he can open you know whether it's armies of the world whether it's dynasties of the world who is closing them whether it's countries whether it's assets whether it's mal whether it's something belongings that you have whether it's family whether it's relatives Allah Azza wa Jal can expand and he can close close as well Jazakumullah khair wa akhi da'wan alhamdulillah rabbil alameen so we've come to the name Al-Qabid, Al-Bas, Al-Qabid, Al-Basit. Both of those will be covered. Next week we will start from Al-Khafid, Al-Rafi' and we will move on from there inshallah Azawajal. Please try and remember these names. I'll see you inshallah next week around the same time. Jazakum khair.